Well, we left St. Charles area this morning, St. Louis area. We're at a Walmart right now. We're in Iowa City, Iowa. And man, we're expecting, you can see behind me, the forecast is some severe storms headed our way. We'll see how it goes. There was a little dog right there. Okay, thank you. bald eagle. How beautiful. Our view is actually a nest. They probably went hunting he or she and going back to the nest. Well, we are in the middle of zero point nowhere. Kind of a good place to be right now. A country dog. He's, trying to, he's trying to move that wheel with his teeth. He was picking it up. Look at this. Boy, are you going to break your teeth? There's the wheel. <laughs> sticking, sticking your tongue down there. You don't know what's going to get a hold of that thing. Come on, buddy. Gosh. Come on, let's go. He's turned into a country dog. Come on, buddy. I know. Get up it's with all you, gone. Son. Come on. Now we got gypped on the side. We didn't get the side that goes with this. Oh, I see. They didn't, but we're paying for a side. No, they Cindy got the Cuban and they brought a Reuben. And so they made it good. And we'll take the Reuben. Oh, home. look at that. Beautiful. That. Or bread pudding. That's Which one you got? One of these. The carrot cake should be against the law. Um. When you get out of the city, you can experience this quietness. Easy on the ears, candy to the eye, great smells, good for the body. Yeah, well, you got the phone in your hand. Just like anywhere else you go. 
You know, I guess I'm as curious as the next person. I'd like to know what this crop is. I'm taking a guess it's alfalfa, but no matter what it is, it's beautiful, and I'm gonna fly the drone over it. It's gotta be, it's gotta be alfalfa. Well, it's not corn. There is a remnant of a corn stalk here. I think that's very obvious, a sign that it was corn planted here the last time. So they do rotate crops. I'm going to go with alfalfa. I think it's alfalfa. Hmm. I don't know what alfalfa tastes like. <laughs> I don't know. There's, there's, there's got to be like 100 acres here. We're going to take a fly over. Maybe more than that. I don't know. Anyway. Up we go! There's the RV park, and you can see me down there, a little dot. I'm going to go up all the way to the 400 mark, and that's as far as we can go, legally. And I don't want to do anything but that which is legal. That's the RV park right there. You can see how beautiful it is. The quietest place you could imagine as far as an RV park. No planes, no trains, all these cornfields here. And the seven colonies of Amana are scattered all about here. They're typically about one mile apart. It was the original commune, uh, American commune, came here in the 1850s. And they broke up in the, uh, during the Great Depression and uh, got rid of the, uh, the communal uh, lifestyle and uh, went to capitalism. Uh, they they thought that people uh, should pursue their own goals, and uh, they couldn't do it under the communal system. Plus, the economics of the situation changed during the Great Depression. Okay, that is a beautiful field, is it not? There she comes. There you come, baby. That's my little baby. Thank you, Joshua. That's my little baby right there. Love this little guy. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I wish you would like you to support us here at RV or USA. Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, and let us know what you would like. Also, 
what you would like to see. Also, share this video. I really would appreciate it. We thank you very much. It's been wonderful, wonderful making this video.